everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here hi I'm Kay and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the March edition of the Look Fantastic Beauty Box so this is what the box looks like this month it's very pretty and on the front it says Beauty Beyond Boundaries and that is of course in support of International Women's Day which I believe is March the 8th don't quote me on that um, but yeah, really pretty box, really like it. So as usual, if you already know everything there is to know about this box and you just want to skip ahead to the items inside, that's fine. I will leave a timestamp in the comments section down below so that you can do that. But if you don't know what this box is and you want to know a little bit more, then I'm going to give a brief little description here, but I will also leave some more detailed information in the description box down below so that you can check that out at your own leisure. If you can hear any noise in the background, my son is playing in his bedroom. I apologise in advance. So the Look Fantastic Beauty Box is a monthly beauty subscription service from the online beauty retailer Look Fantastic. Now that is a massive website that sells makeup, hair care, skin care, beauty tools, a few things in between. Um, and they sell everything from drugstore all the way up to high-end products. They also do this beauty box. Now this retails for £15 per month on a rolling monthly contract but they do also offer different lengths of subscription and that can actually help to bring the cost of the box down. So for example I've got a 12 month subscription with them and my boxes cost me £13 per month so it just reduces the cost a little bit. Inside the box you'll find six beauty products, again ranging from makeup, skincare, hair care, beauty tools and the total value of the box is usually around the £50 mark although sometimes it's a little bit more. So uh, let's crack this open and see what's inside. Now on the inside of the lid there's usually some sort of quote or motivational saying and this month it says there is no force more powerful than a, than a women determined to rise okay grammatically that seems a little bit off to me but um that could just be me being nitpicky but in general i like what they're getting at and this is what we look like inside so we've got a little booklet here and then all the items are wrapped up in tissue paper underneath now the little booklet tells us almost everything we need to know about the items inside um, it's a little bit like a magazine these days as well so there's some little articles in there um, it does tell us about the products sort of how to use them um, there's usually some articles in here about the brands um, that are inside this box as well but one thing they've stopped doing is they've stopped putting the um, RRPs in which is a little bit annoying um, I've heard somewhere that they're trying to bring the focus back to their products rather than the value of the products but for me being someone that talks about you know value of the box and things like that it's um, a little bit frustrating um, I haven't already opened this box so I don't know what the prices are right now but as usual I'll figure all that out when I'm editing and I'll pop it on the screen for you so that you can see it as I'm talking to you Inside this book there is usually a little sneak peek into an item in next month's box as well. This month is no exception. So if you don't want to know what the sneak peek is, then again I'm going to leave timestamp in the comments section so that you can skip past this little section. Um, but if you do want to know what it is, it is an Avant product. I'm not going to go into my thoughts on that right now, I'll reserve judgement till next month. But apparently in the April box we're going to receive an Avant Pink Orchid Subtle Restoring Overnight Serum. That's something that I haven't actually had before. Um, but it says that the value is worth over £92. So the theme of this month's box is Beauty Beyond Boundaries. Which is obviously what was on the front of the box there. Um, and we've got a little editor's note here. Now these used to be quite short and punchy. They're now looking like one of my uh, uni essays from a previous life. But to just sort of skip to some of the main points here. Um, it's talking about Dove when it launched its campaign for real beauty back in 2004. Um, it fast became one of the great success stories for beauty marketers around the globe. Um, it says that 
emphasise that they redefined what it meant to feel beautiful and that this month in this box they're striving for the same message. It's It goes on to say a little bit about how more and more brands these days are showcasing more sort of unphotoshopped photos um, as part of their marketing campaigns which is obviously a good thing. Um, and then it just talks about, oh, March the 8th, I was right, March the 8th marks the 110th International Women's Day, a day centred on the fight for women's rights. Um, so it says, it seemed only fitting then that this month's box be all about female empowerment. This year's International Women's Day theme is choose to challenge because from challenge comes change, which I think is a very good message. Um, so I'm wondering then, if the products in here are all from um, women-owned brands, which would be quite cool. Um, so without further ado, let's find out what we've actually got in here. So this is what we look like on the inside. And I'm going to start with the sneak peek from last month's box, which is from Christoph Robin. So this is the regenerating mask with rare prickly pear seed oil. So this is a hair mask. A revitalising hair treatment perfect for dry and damaged hair full of antioxidant and regenerative properties that penetrate your hair and scalp. Protecting your hair from split ends and breakage as well as treating coloured hair by restoring pigment to leave it looking vibrant and healthy. Um, so it says that it contains rare prickly pear seed oil and inula flower extract. Massage a small amount onto wet hair after shampooing from roots to ends. Lather whilst, lather whilst gradually adding water and then rinse thoroughly. So yeah, I like hair masks and this is something that I'm definitely willing to give a try. So next we've got something from Lottie London and this is an AM to PM eyeliner. Um, so it's in the shade black, not surprised by that. Um, it's, oh, why, why did I put them in these stupid plastic things? So it's just one of these types. So it's a retractable um, pencil. Let's just, goes on quite easily, that's quite nice. Black eyeliner isn't something that I tend to use a lot of. Um, I find that it can make my eyes look a bit smaller, so I try to go for different colours over black. But I do use black eyeliner from time to time. Um, this looks like it might be a good one, so we'll see what the book says. So it's a pencil eyeliner with a gel finish to add drama and definition to your eye makeup look. With a formula that will glide effortlessly over the eyes, avoiding any pull or discomfort, complete with a retractable sharpener to keep the liner in tip-top condition. It says swipe across your eye area until the desired look is achieved. Um, so, it says it's got a sharpener, I'm guessing that's at this end. Oh, it does. So it's just got a built-in sharpener at the end here. So, that's great. I like it when they include those, because otherwise they're pain in the backside to try and uh, to try and sharpen um but yeah um as i said not something i envisage myself getting a lot of use out of but um it looks like it might be quite decent so i'm willing to at least give it a try next we've got a double-ended brow brush from brushworks i've had a few brushes from brushworks now um some have been okay some have not really hit the mark for me but uh, let's have a look at this one. If I could ever get it out of the box. So it's just got the little spoolie at this end, which is quite handy actually. That's something I will use. And then it's got this sort of slanted end at this end. This is the end I'll probably get the least amount of use out of just because I don't tend to use products that require that. But the spoolie, I'll... Uh, I'll use the spoolie end, that's that's definitely something that I will find useful. So this is a dual-ended eyebrow brush to help you achieve the perfect brow with every use. 
The angled brush works well with both cream and powder products to help you create natural brush stroke hairs, whilst the spoolie end is great to brush through any product and create a fluffy, more feathered brow look. Dip the small angled side into your favourite cream or powdered brow product and use short, quick motions upwards to create the look of additional brow hairs. Brush through and fluff up using the spoolie end. Yep, so... Like I said, I'll probably just end up using the spoolie end more often than anything else, but uh, it's handy, so I don't object to it being in this box. So next, we've got this from First Aid Beauty, and these are the facial radiance pads. This is just a little deluxe sample pack. I've had these before. I've had a full-size one of these before as well. Um, and I know I've said before, I wish that this was just in like a toner bottle like a liquid formula rather than having them in the pads um i just feel like it's it's just extra waste that there doesn't need to be the formula itself i actually really like i get similar results to the um pixie glow tonic um although this has got lactic acid in as well as the glycolic acid um so i i like them um but i just i don't like that they're in a pad form um let's see what the book says okay so this was actually one of two items you could have received so you were either going to get the facial radiance pads or you could have got the um coconut water cream um so obviously i'll talk about this one because this is what i've got so these are facial radiance pads infused with ingredients to promote a natural healthy glow to your complexion Suitable for daily use, they work to reduce the look of pores and fine lines whilst brightening and smoothing the skin. Safe to use on even the most sensitive of skin types. Use one pad and wipe over the face, neck and décolleté. Follow with your favourite moisturiser. It contains lactic acid, glycolic acid, cucumber, lemon peel and licorice root. What I will say is even though it says it's suitable for sensitive skin types, don't use these if you've got any broken or damaged skin because it will sting. Um, I speak from experience. I get the same thing with the Pixie Glow Tonic too. Um, so, yeah. As I said, I like them. I'm going to use them because it's more wasteful if I don't. But, yeah. I kind of wish I'd have had the water cream because that's something I haven't tried before. But... It's a subscription box, you get what you get sometimes, um, and it's it's not a bad product. I just wish it was in a different form. Okay, so next we've got this, and I don't know whether this is Bloom and Blossom or Blossom and Bloom, um, but it's a Wonder Worker multitasking balm. Um, oh, this is probably all that Dr. Poor Poor stuff, isn't it? Um, Apply with clean fingers to skin that needs extra retention. Sounds like it. Bloom and Blossom. It's Bloom and Blossom. Let's see what the book says. A versatile skin-loving wonder balm filled with a blend of nourishing ingredients to condition and hydrate your skin. Whether you're suffering from chapped lips, dry hands or have a little one in need of extra soothing, this natural balm can help. Rich in anti-inflammatory properties to protect, condition and treat even the most delicate of skin. So this contains castor seed oil, lavender oil, olive fruit oil, vitamin E and shea butter. So it says squeeze a small amount of... It says squeeze a small amount of fingertips and massage into wherever needed. Wow. Um, wow. I think, um, I think somebody needed to proofread some of these things this month. Um, but... <laughs> But yeah, I think that's supposed to be uh, squeeze a small amount onto fingertips, not squeeze out fingertips. <laughs> Again, could just be me being nitpicky, but um, yeah, that, that does not read the way I think they intended. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's probably going to get used more as a lip balm than anything else for me. Um, I've got quite a few at the moment, so it's probably going to take me a while to get around to it. But I probably will at some point, so... It's okay. I'm 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 okay with this being in here. So next, we've got something from Polar. Had a couple of things from Polar, and um, 
I know I tried the sunscreen from them and that was actually really nice. So what is this? So it's the Ice Sauce Moisturising Cream with Iceberg Water. That sounds nice. Let's just have a look. So it's got a, it's got a seal on. Um, so I'm not going to open this right now just because I've got a lot of moisturisers at the moment. Um, and I, I just I don't want to have another one open at the moment. So it's a cooling treatment that will leave your skin feeling hydrated and refreshed. Combining three active ingredients, this face mask... Face mask? Nope. The directions on the back of this are definitely reading like it's a moisturiser. Okay, it, it says anyway. This face mask nourishes your complexion by warding off dryness and dehydration. Its uplifting scent will also revitalise your senses. It contains iceberg water, hyaluronic acid and... <sighs> Thalassia Sera Antarctica. I've probably butchered that, I'm so sorry. Um, massaging to slightly damp skin after your bath or shower until fully absorbed. So, it's not a face mask, it's a moisturiser. Who is writing the book this month? They need a talking to. They need to lay off the liquor. But yeah, um, yeah, it's fine. I like getting little mini sizes of moisturisers to try out. Um, it doesn't take me very long to get through them that way and uh, I get a good idea for whether I like a product or not from something that's this size. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be trying it out anytime soon. I do have a lot of skincare at the moment that I'm trying to work my way through. But, um, but yeah, it's something that I'm willing to try. So uh, it'll uh, go in the queue. And then last but not least, we have something from Ahava. So this is the Dead Sea Mud Mineral Mud Soap. Um, I've tried the Erna Laszlo Mud Soap and that was okay, but soap isn't something that I generally use as part of my routine. I tend to use cleansers or a face wash or something like that, but okay. It's It doesn't seem like it's fragranced. Does it say anything about fragrance? Oh, it does. It does have fragrance in. Um, but that's... It's kind of... I don't know how to describe that. I guess it smells a bit earthy. It's a mud soap. That's pretty much the only way I'm going to be able to describe that, I think. Um, but that is what... Oops. That's what that looks like. It's just a little bar of soap. So this is a purifying soap suitable for use on both the face and body, formulated to wash away dirt and impurities without stripping your skin of its necessary moisture. It contains Dead Sea Mud, I'd hope so considering it's in the title. Um, work into a luxurious lather and massage over face and body, rinse thoroughly. So it's a mud soap. I might use it at some point, um, but I might also see if somebody else wants to try this instead because it's not something that I'm likely to get around to probably for a long time. So that's that. So that was the final product in this month's box. Quick little recap. We've got the Christoph Robin hair mask, the Lottie London eyeliner, the Bloom and Blossom multitasking balm, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, the Polar Ice Source Moisturising Cream, the Brushworks Double Ended Brow Brush, and the Ahava Dead Sea Mud Soap. So overall, what do I think of this month's box? I like it. I'm not overly wowed by it, but there are products in here that I'm willing to try or will at least be useful. So. Not a bad box, but not not something that I'm going to be sort of jumping for joy over. But what do you guys think? Um, is there anything in this box that you're thinking, actually, you know, that's amazing? Um, do you already subscribe to this box? If so, you know, what did you think of, of it overall? Um, if you don't already subscribe to this box, is what you've seen today something that might actually tempt you to subscribe? 
just let me know in the comments down below i'm always interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions if you've enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button for me it really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you think you'd like to catch up with me more often then i'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too it's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future and with all of that being said i really hope everyone's well and staying safe and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching bye